If you're working out hard, you're doing everything necessary in the gym or in your workouts, yet you're not eating enough food, no growth is going to happen. Hey, what's up, man? Gary Walker here, and welcome back for another video. All right, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to build a bigger chest in the next 30 days. This is part of a series that I've been doing, telling you how to build bigger arms, how to build bigger legs, and now we're all about the chest, man. Here's the thing you need to realize when we're talking about adding more size quickly. First, you gotta make sure you're eating in a caloric surplus. All right, we're gonna get into some exercises here in a minute, but first I wanna make sure you understand the importance of your nutrition. If you're working out hard, you're doing everything necessary in the gym or in your workouts, yet you're not eating enough food, no growth is going to happen. So make sure you're eating in a caloric surplus. About 500 calories over your maintenance is usually enough and then make sure you're prioritizing your protein. I'm gonna recommend one to 1.5 grams of protein per pound of your body weight. Do that, make sure you're getting your good fats, good complex carbs, and then you're gonna be well on your way to putting on more muscle. Also, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're prioritizing your sleep for optimal recovery. So seven to nine hours of sleep every night is gonna be good to help you replenish and repair and recover from your workouts. All right, here's what we're doing, we're gonna work some frequency into your chest training, meaning you're gonna be doing two chest workouts per week. The first one is going to be based on strength, all right? So here's what we're gonna do. First workout you're gonna be doing, you're gonna wanna do a barbell bench press. The goal with the barbell bench press is four to six rep range. So I want you to get five sets of four to six reps and challenge yourself, push yourself within those reps. Make sure you're failing within that rep range. And if you are stopping at six, but you can get eight to 10 more reps, that weight is too light, man. So you really wanna push yourself. Here's the next thing. You're gonna do that workout once this week and you're gonna do it once every week for the next four weeks. So your goal with that exercise is to better yourself. So if you start out doing, say 200 pounds, you wanna try to do 205 with your next workout and then 210 with that next workout, all right? So you wanna make sure you're throwing in some progressive overload when you're working on that barbell bench press. Five sets of barbell bench press, and then we're gonna do three sets of incline dumbbell press. Incline dumbbell press, and then four sets of cable flies. I like the mid-range cable flies. Really focus on all these exercises, controlling the weight. Because I don't want you to use momentum. I don't want you to cheat. I don't want you to quickly lower the weights. You wanna lower the weights under control. I'm talking about four second cadence. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004 one second pause at the bottom and then explode the weight back up all right so you're going to explode the weight up with your barbell bench press and with your dumbbell incline press those are explosive concentric contractions that we're looking for but remember four seconds on every rep also here's the thing we're focused on you want to do eight to 12 reps with the dumbbell incline bench press and you want to do eight to 12 reps with the cable fly so that's going to be your main goal with this first workout so again immediately after this workout i want you to replenish i want you to get some protein some protein some complex carbohydrates to allow for optimal recovery all right so that's your first workout then you're gonna take two rest days and then you're gonna get into your higher volume workout. All right, so your higher volume workout. So I want you to do some dumbbell bench presses, not a barbell, dumbbell bench presses. And we're shooting for 10 to 12 reps. 10 to 12 reps, utilize that same cadence. So four seconds on the way down, one second pause, explode the weight back up. All right, so you're gonna do that for five sets. So five sets with the dumbbell presses. Soon as you're done with that, I want you to do the cable press high to lows. Here, really focus on that good stretch when the cables are at the highest position and bring the cables down towards the bottom and midline of the body. Really focus on controlling that contraction. And we're gonna be shooting for 15 to 20 reps here. So we're looking for blood flow and we're gonna do volume. So we wanna do five sets here as well. So you did five sets of the first exercise and then we're gonna do a Smith machine incline press. Smith machine incline press, five sets there. And I want you to hit about 10 to 12 rep range. So not too heavy with this exercise, really focus on stretching the upper pecs and really contract those pecs at the top. That's gonna be the end of the second workout. Immediately, once you've done your workout, replenish, man. Get that protein, get those complex carbs, and then make sure you're resting. You're gonna wanna do that 
So that's two workouts a week for the next four weeks. So really focus on making improvements from week to week. Start a journal if you need to, write down your weight so you know your starting point, and then make sure you're adding some progressions to those next workouts. So it can be more weight, which is what I'm gonna recommend, but you can't always add weight from week to week. Our bodies don't work that way. So if you're struggling to add that five pounds next week, then add one or two more reps to some of those sets. That's gonna give you more intensity and give you more volume than the previous week. So that's gonna be a type of progressive overload, which is gonna to continue to help you put on more size. With that said, let me know if you have any questions at all about any of these exercises or the structure. If you got any questions, leave it in the comments section. Other than that, man, get busy on this. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know that you were going to do it. And I want you to come back here after 30 days and let me know what type of results you got. With that said, get busy, get after it, and God bless.